Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Regina. Uh, recently, we stayed at a beautiful place in Alabama near Mobile called uh, Mayer State Park. Um, and we did something that we were, we've never really done before. We're, we recorded a video there about the place we were staying, because sometimes we record videos, you know, weeks after we've <laughs> stayed somewhere. And uh, so we did this video. It was beautiful sunset. Uh, and all throughout the like middle part of the video, there was uh, some dogs being walked in the background. And I totally lost my train of thought because the guy was coming to like calling his dogs that were coming onto our pad kind of behind our RV. And so all we heard was I was trying to explain the area that we were staying in was Sophie! <laughs> Sophie! <laughs> Center, which are really cool. We went over yes. there today and it was beautiful. There's a couple of beautiful boardwalks on this property as well. You can walk down um, uh, over the, uh, overlook the... Um, so by by the time we finished and we we're like, oh, this is no good. We got, we got to redo this one. The sun was going down. We lost our moment. And now we're a couple weeks after uh, our stay recording about Mayor State Park and I'm rambling on. So uh, what do we like about Mayor State Park? Everything. What I loved about Mayor State Park was everything. Its location is fantastic. You're um, right near the Florida-Alabama border, about 45 minutes from Pensacola. Um, just, it was just a wonderful location. You were on the water, so you were on the Mobile Bay, correct? Did yep. I say that right? That's, yep. Yes. So you have a lot of freshwater deltas um, or rivers that come into that area. So you have a lot of brackish water. You still have alligators. Um, it was just a really neat place. But what I loved the most about it was that it, it lent itself to being outside the entire time. Like our pad was huge. Yeah. It was asphalt, not concrete, but it was huge. I mean, there was plenty of room for our RV, our picnic table, our camping table, as well as the kids to play on it. So Piper got a new bow and arrow for Christmas. So she played with that. We had the electric scooter that they were running around with. We had little toys outside that Charlotte could just sit down and play. We did school outside. Um, I went outside every morning. I did my Bible and devotional. It was just, it lent itself just for wanting to be outside all the time. And to me, that is a huge, huge plus. Yeah, there was a nice grassy area off of our, our pad. Was, yeah, really big spot that we're in. And the people there were really nice. There was a boardwalk area, two, two boardwalk areas and a boat launch and some trails through the woods. Um, it doesn't look that big, but there's actually a lot of places where you can walk around, see beautiful sunsets on the boardwalk. The weather was perfect when we were there. It was really nice. And, Minus uh, like one rainy day. I think yeah. we had one, I think we had one or two all rainy days, but it's okay because it was football playoffs. So we were good. We watched football all day. Those days. <laughs> yeah. I can't really think of anything I didn't like about the park. The price was great. The location was great. And there's some nice things to do in the area. Across the street is a nature center with additional trails, a really cool nature center. Five and Rivers Delta. Yeah, and uh, there's a little boardwalk area that you can go out there, kayak launches, and there were people out there kayaking around in the channels and stuff. Really cool wildlife exhibit inside, some live animals, some stuffed animals, lots of cool facts and figures, and it was just really well maintained. There was hardly anybody there when we were there, so that was kind of nice. They had a beautiful gift shop too that we were only able to look in the windows because we waited until the day before we left to go over and they were closed that day. And yeah. then one day we toured the USS Alabama. Oh, yeah. which is the battleship. <clears throat> so the Mayher State Park is on Battleship Parkway in Spanish Fort, Alabama. And that's how you access the USS Alabama. It's on the same road. I think we were, was it five miles? It was five miles. I think five miles from us. And um, I would highly recommend going to the USS Alabama. Give yourself a good four hours to tour the submarine as well as the battleship itself. That the USS Drum as was the submarine and then the USS Alabama was the battleship. Um, anything else you want to say about that? Cause I could talk on forever. Yeah, no, it was great. It was a great place. We'd gone a number of years ago, um, probably only had about half of the kids that we have now. So <laughs> we wanted to go back and, and visit, especially since we're staying in the area. Last time we went, we were driving through on our way back home to the Tampa area. So we just stopped for a couple of hours and then continued on our journey. But w one of the things, I don't know whether it's an improvement or whether we missed it before, but their map of the different routes, there's three different routes that you can go through through the battleship that highlight different parts of the ship. They did a fantastic job of making it really organized, color coordinated. You knew exactly where you were, what the stops were, what the significance of the different areas of the ship were, whether it was like areas where they conducted, um, uh, where their weapons were or the mess hall or the officer's quarters or above deck was really awesome as well. That was the last tour that we did. We did all the below stuff first and then we ended up on the deck of the ship. And it's just really impressive to be uh, on top of a, 
deck of a battleship with the, with all of the guns and it, it was really cool uh, and then to think about uh, all of the people that had served over the years this is a world war ii or, or um uh, watercraft <laughs> watercraft <laughs> world war ii <laughs> battleship uh yeah and then the the uss drum was also a world war ii i think it's the oldest submarine in existence right now that you can tour so very cool and uh, of course we got bucks flags pictures all over the deck of the battleship that was pretty awesome as well uh yeah beautiful area nice afternoon and they have aircraft on the on the uh outside field there so all of it is donate or all of it is uh, funded by um people visiting the place and paying the admission so it's not funded by the state or our federal government so uh, your donations there help maintain the battleship and the grounds and the aircraft and the drum and stuff so that's a big draw for that area really great place if you want to fish if you want to go on boat tours um, do anything outdoors just be outside it is an absolutely fantastic place um, you do all your shopping in Spanish Fort and Daphne so there is a, I mean everything that you can imagine that you need if you need an oil change if you need new tires if you need a Sam's Club a Target a Chick-fil-a because that's what we always look for and a Publix <laughs> um, we had all those things there so shopping was really easy it was a pleasure to shop at Publix <laughs> it really was yeah. so I would say if you get a chance Mayhurst State Park yeah. very inexpensive to stay well worth every penny and more they had laundry facilities on site. Forgot to say that too. Oh, they did, yeah. Hope you get to check it out and we will see you on our next adventure. See ya.